Hey everybody, welcome to Jabba Radio and welcome to the JRPL. We're talking the Jabba Radio Prediction League. We're going to go over what happened at Extreme Rules, what's coming up at Money in the Bank, and overall, what in the world is going on in the entire world of the JRPL right now. Well, first of all, I hope you guys check out JabbaRadio.com. We have all kinds of stuff. We got all the JRPL. We have all kinds of our videos. We're talking best in the business, memories to matches. We got backyard stuff. We got everything. And you need to check out JRPL. You need to check out Jabba Radio. You need to check everything out. And, of course, our podcast biweekly usually comes out on Friday, maybe Saturday. Either way, here we go, guys. It is time. Let's talk about what happened at Extreme Rules. We're talking... Wow, 2017, what a match, what a show. Guys, I had to put on the whole Matt Hardy versus Jeff Hardy, and how did it go down? Ash, of course, beat Rab. Rab is winless right now. Now, if you listen to our podcast, we go. We usually do a prediction contest over the big four, the big pay-per-views. We're talking Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, SummerSlam, Survivor Series, and Rab was like destroying everybody on the show on that contest. And look at this right here. Another loss to Rab. This time he goes down to Ash. And that actually put Ash in contention for a possible shot. We're talking possible at the Top Lock Championship. But we'll get to more of that in a minute. But anyway, let's go. Main event time. Peanut actually came through and got the win over Peanut Is My Bitch. This is the third show in JRPL history here. We're talking, we're in our early stages, and Peanut gets the win here. He's been hazed almost. He's been picked on by Peanut Is My Bitch 69, If in case you didn't know by the name. But in a hardcore match, in the main event on our sh- third show, Peanut pulls out the win, got the big victory over Peanut Is My Bitch 69. So Peanut, that win right there, locked him into the main event at Money in the Bank. So this is going to be the fourth show in JRPL history, the fourth main event for Peanut. He is somehow holding on to everything that everybody wants right now, which is to be in the main event scene. So then we got, uh, we had the big tag team match. The the first, ta- this is actually the first tag team match in JRPL history. Um, yeah, it included me right here, Bomber, teaming up with Woody against Crimson Cyborg and 3J Platinum. We're talking the regulators, guys. These guys are in a stable. And their partner, where is Captain Charisma? He's somewhere down here. Um, But anyway, uh, we almost got the achievement. We almost unlocked the achievement for a squash match. It wasn't that close, mainly because these guys locked in Finn Balor for a lot of points. And since it's a hardcore match, they lose points every time they get incorrect picks. So they they lost a lot of points on the main event at Extreme Rules. But... Either way, we were me and Woody really talked this match out. We really got into the bottom of everything that was happening, and it really paid off with a big victory here. But I'll be goddamn if Woody didn't turn his back and create a new stable called The Solution and just completely destroy me after the match, left me bloody, left me in a heap uh, on the outside of the ring. Meanwhile, The Solution, which is Woody, we got John and... If you go through the uh, the pay-per-view here, every one of the guys that formed the new solution got a win. So anyway, Woody, we got John, we got the Warden, and where is he at? There he is. Beer Me Jesus also got the win. All four guys got the win. What a debut. But anyway, left me in a heap, which is going to lead to a match at Money in the Bank that we'll get to in a little bit later. But big, big match here, big upset. Scott, who was undefeated, he was 2-0 coming to this match. He would not stop talking about the fucking world title he was going to win. And then Super Hippo comes in under the radar, scoops him up with a 10-point win. What a win there from Super Hippo. Meanwhile, Scott, he goes ballistic, starts throwing everything around, throws a hissy fit, blames every single person in the world besides himself. And he found himself on the outside. Now, Super Hippo is going to be challenging possibly, possibly, for the top block championship. And then we go on to the Ultimate X match, the first ever in the JRPL. The Warden defeated Broken Nerd Tom Koppel, uh, sorry, no, Cam Popplestone. I kind of uh, mixed his name there. And this was via points because now if you read the rules, which you need to do, the way to win a uh, Ultimate X match, kind of the same as a Money in the uh, a well Money in the Bank and ladder match actually, is you got to get consecutive picks in a row. And the funny thing is, the Warden missed the very first match on the card, 
but and all three of these guys got it right, and they got, I think, up to three matches in a row. Meanwhile, Warden got up to four, and he missed his fifth match. I, Off the top of my head, I cannot remember, but I know he missed the fifth match in a row. But overall, his points did uh, come out on top. Just by one point, he beat Broken Nerd, who just fell short. We're talking one single point he missed the achievement for winning the first ever uh, Ultimate X match, or winning a Ultimate X match. But yeah, so Warden got the big victory there, and he's going to go on to hopefully, he's teaming up with uh, Beer Me Jesus at the next show. We'll talk about that. But John stays undefeated against Crofty here. Crofty was undefeated going to this match. Both guys, or I assume guys, I don't know. Either way, I'm just going to, from the rest of the JRPL time, any female, I'm just going to count them as a he or her. So uh, Legit Boss is a a female. Crofty is a female. Probably not in real life, but either way, who cares, guys? We're talking JRPL. This is this is a uh, this is all for fun, guys. So anyway, Cesaro beat uh, <laughs> Bailey, and uh, only six points. John has looked unstoppable the first couple shows, and he did fall to here, but he did get the win. So that's all that matters at the end of the day. And then Matt Zion, if you followed the stream, a, a lot of the people from the JRPL was in. Um, Reckless Eating stream, guys, go on Twitch, follow Twitch, uh, follow Reckless Eating on Twitch, that is, sorry, and Matt Zion is going to try to stream, like, his live reactions, we put a bunch of people in the chat, there was, I know Legit Boss was there, I was there, Scott was there, Woody was, there was a lot of, basically, there was a lot of people from this show in the chat, and if you guys want to hang out and talk about the chat and uh, just have fun during the pay-per-view, Jump on in, Reckless Eating on Twitch. Search for it. Follow it. Guys, uh, we're going to try to do that for uh, for the time being. But anyway, uh, Matt Zion got the big win going into Money in the Bank in the main event later on. This was like a little preview match. And then Lee and Banksy, the only no contest of the show was Lee versus Banksy. We got The Rock and uh, Arn Anderson here. This is Lee's second no contest. So he's 0-1-2. and two. Zero wins, one loss, two draws. But anyway, going on, TB66, under the radar, 3-0. and 3-0 and under the radar. No big, no nobody's made a big deal out of TB66 here so far. But he got the big win over the GMSG. I don't really know what that stands for. But either way, it was a single, look at that, 13-12, to 12, single point victory. And then Tino got a big win over the Green Machine, Again, a close match, but that gave T N uh, T No a three and O record. So T, so we only have three people in the entire J uh, JRPL with three and O. We're talking T No, T B six six, and John are the only three with a three and O record in the JRPL right now after three shows, which says a lot. So then we go to the triple threat match. We got Mod Step. He got the big win over Joe Blow and X Ross. Who, X Ross so far? This is his second match and second triple threat match. So he's he's zero and two, but he's had triple threat matches. So it's kind of hard to win when triple threat match. We're gonna try to change that going forward. We're trying to get him some singles matches going forward. But then, like I said earlier, Beer Me Jesus got the big win over Tagaby. I I hope I'm saying that right. Tagaby two point victory. Now Tagaby has had a lot of success so far, but. He did falter a little bit. Let's see if he can get that going. And going up to their next match, we got Bastion versus Captain Charisma. Again, I still have no clue if I'm saying that right. But as much as we just finally got the pick base figured out, if you watch our other video, he didn't have a pick base. We got him Seth Rollins because he was still available. And guys, guess what? When it comes to points overall, look at this. We're going over quickly to the statistic leaderboard. I'm going to click on... WWE show points. Guess who's at the top? Bastion right there. 54. Next is Woody with 52. But the most overall points out of WWE uh, pay-per-views is Bastion. And he got another win here. So, oh, where are we at? There we go. So, he got the win. Moving on. He's going to have a big profile, high-profile match coming up at the next pay-per-view. But then we had match of the night, guys. Wookie versus CM Carlito. Wookie with the highest score of the night, 23 out of the highest possible score was a 27. And Wookie was four points shy of that. 
against uh, Sam Carlito, who unfortunately is 0-3, but he's done good. He's got he's got he's gonna have a coming. He's got a coming. It's pretty obvious. The guy, if he sticks to it, he's gonna have some good matches, he's gonna have some good stuff coming up. But that right there showed the JRPL that Wookie with the highest score is gonna slide in to the money in the bank match. And we talked about it, we announced it, we said whoever has his highest score, whoever shows us the best performance at Extreme Rules, they'll get the Money in the Bank match, and it was Wookie. So, then going down, we're talking a little more matches here in the kickoff show. Alaska Brown picked up his first win over Luke, who unfortunately also is 0-3, still looking for that first win. And then we had Redhead get the debut victory over Buck N5. And a lot of these guys, these are all debut matches. We got the Shockmaster, got the victory over Sparkman, five-point victory there. J. Scott got a big 10-point victory. Otis, he faltered a little bit, only seven points. Not that big, not that great, but you know what, guys? Hey, he can recover, he can recuperate, he can come back on the next show a little bit better. Then we got Victory Green versus Spring Tigress. We... <laughs> 22 points out of Victory Green. That is a big debut right there with the Corey Graves pick base. That is a big debut from Victory Green. That says a lot. He is going to make the, the main card on the next show with that kind of debut. One point shy of Wookiee's 23 points. So going on, we got the last match of the show. Exterminators versus Vitamin Yes. Another big 10 point victory here. Uh, Exterminators got the win. Vitamin Yes is going to falter just a little bit in his debut. Who knows? Maybe it was nerves. But guys, guess what? I hope you guys did have fun. I hope you enjoyed Extreme Rules 2017. I had a lot of fun. I, like I said, I was in the chat, Matt Zion's live chat. He was streaming. We were talking with everybody. It was a fun show overall. So let's talk money in the bank, guys. If you head on over to the Prediction League, hover over Prediction League, click on events, and you're going to land yourself here on the events page. You're going to see all our upcoming events. We got a Ring of Honor pay-per-view coming up on June 23rd. We have Slammiversary coming up on July 2nd, but coming up first, we're talking Money in the Bank, June 18th, 2017. Here we go. Let's go over a quick rundown of the card. We have the Money in the Bank main event match. The winner of this match will be Mr. or Mrs. Money in the Bank, and they're going to be able to cash in any time they want for an entire year. Hey, a legit boss has already announced if she gets the win, she's going to cash in before the, the first ever world title match at SummerSlam. So she's going to make that at least a triple threat match. She's going to get in there and she's going to try to get that shot to be the first ever champion. Who knows if everybody else is going to do it. We haven't heard any ideas from anybody else yet, but you know what? Here's how everybody got here. John and Tino, obvious no brainer three and zero right now, Matt Zion. He's two and zero. he hasn't lost yet. He's two zero and one looked fantastic. Legit boss, super active. She's been right in the hunt of every single match. She's got a lot of points. We got Peanut, who won the main event at the last show, got in. And Wookie, who we talked about, whoever had the best performance at Extreme Rules would get into this match. So right here, we have three undefeated people versus three people who are really going to be the underdogs in this match. Who's going to get the win? Who's your money on? Is it the undefeated guys? Is it the underdog people? Who's it going to be? And then, here we go, two big matches right here. We're talking... Ash versus TB66, and then also Mod Step versus Super Hippo. These these four guys are competing to become the first ever JRPL Top Lock Champion. And if you head on over to the homepage here, you click on this Top Lock Championship Contenders Are Set. Click on that, and then it's going to give you a little write-up about how Super Hippo was the last one to get the win over Scott. And basically, here is your four finalists you need to come take a look at this it's going to give you a little rundown of how everybody is unfolding how everything's shaping up for this, these two matches and hey winner of this i'm not, I'm not gonna lie right here guys ready the winner of these two of, of these two matches that is are gonna face off at jrpl great balls of fire to crown the first ever jrpl top block champion so there you go that's pretty big news right there and then, of course, a little grudge match we got going on. We got Woody versus me, Bomber, in a hardcore match, mainly because I was busted open. I was destroyed. I was betrayed 
at the last show by this guy in his stable, The Solution. So how is this going to go down? All I know is I'm going to come out and I'm going to go. I got some crazy picks lined up. I'm not even going to lie. I've already got some crazy picks for the Money in the Bank show. And if you want to check out the card so far, we're going to have everything right there. But yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to throw out some wild picks. I'm not going to lie. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting match. Good luck to you, Woody. And I know you're mad that you're not in the Money in the Bank. But hey, guess what? Woody outperformed you. I'm sorry. That's how it is. That's how it is, buddy. Woody outperformed or Wookie outperformed you. Sorry. Wookie outperformed Woody. Uh, yeah, it's confusing. Anyway, here we go. And then another thing that stems off of that uh, match where the solution formed, we got the regulators. We're talking Crimson Cyborg and uh, 3J Platinum versus the solutions, the Wardy up. Uh, Sorry, the warden and beer me Jesus big another grudge match two grudge matches right here stemming off that one match that happened at the last show. We're going to see how those shape out. And then we got peanut is my bitch 69 going against Bastion, who I told you, hey, he has the most points so far scored. So we got a main event guy going against the guy that's seeking his first ever. He's trying to get up the card. He's been on the kickoff show almost every single if not. I maybe I think he was on every single kickoff show. So, we'll see if Bash can get the big win now that he's on the main card. And then we got Redhead who's 1 and 0 versus Crofty who's 1 1 and 1 right there. The nice little uh I guess a uh, little ladies match going on. So it should be fun. And then we got Scott who is still super ticked off that he got the loss at Extreme Rules going against the big debut Victory Green, 22 points, one shy. Ladies and gentlemen, what if Victory Green would have got two more points? He would have got one more bonus point, and after a single debut, would have found himself in the main event. He was just a couple points shy. But anyway, he's going to be going up against Scott. That's going to be a big match right there. And then we got Banksy versus Rab. Rab still trying to find his first win. Banksy came, uh, he tied Lee at the last show, so we're going to see who gets the win there. And then we got Captain Christmas, who's still looking for his first win, against Lee, who's looking for his first win. And that is the main card right here for Money in the Bank. Guys, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. I'm going to have a lot of fun. There's a lot of a, a lot of multi-man matches. It's hard to pick who's going to win and what's going to go down. But let's go over the kickoff matches real quick. We got Shockmaster, who got a win on his debut, versus CM Carlito, who had match of the night. He unlocked the, tro uh, the achievement for match of the night, but he is yet to get a win. He Sam Carlito is yet to get a win, but he's already unlocking some trophies, achievements, whatever you want to call them. I play PlayStation 4, so sometimes I'm going to slip up and say trophies. But anyway, CM Carlito trying to get the win over Shockmaster. The Green Machine going against Broken Nerd. Both guys, they're really kind of in the middle here. They're kind of, they're trying to break through the little ceiling, trying to get through. This could be a big win. Uh, Cam Popplestone versus Alaska Brown. Alaska Brown was struggling, but did get a big win off of Luke. So we're going to see if he can continue that success against Cam Popplestone, who is, he's slumping. Yet to get a win. This could be his first win. We're going to see what happens. Another match where two guys are trying to get their first win. X Ross, who's getting that. I told you we were going to get him in a singles match. He's going up against Otis here. We're going to see who gets that win. And then Joe Blow, who gave me my... Uh, AKA Bomber, first loss. Joe Blow going against Buck N5. And the next Terminators who got their first win going against Tagaby. That's going to, you know what? That that should be kind of, that should, should be higher up on the card. Not going to lie. That right there, you know what? Boom, we're going to move it up here f just for this video. And then we're going to go to Tom versus Luke. Tom has been in the main event before. And he's struggling against Luke, who's also struggling. So somebody's got to come out on top. Who is it going to be, Luke or Tom? And then Jay Scott against Vitamin Yes and Sparkman versus Spring Tigress. We got the bottom of the card. Everybody trying to work their way up. And a couple of jobbers who said they were going to, they signed up for the last show. I made their graphics for some reason, and then they no-showed. So hopefully these guys right here, Gords versus uh, uh Lewis Stone Riley and Jonathan C.T. Martin. Hopefully these guys, hopefully they show up. But anyway, that's what we're looking at for Money in the Bank. I hope to have a lot more stuff for you guys. I'm having fun. I hope you guys are having fun. Check out the leaderboards. Check out all the statistics. And here's a little tip for you, pro tip for you. If you haven't uh, just went on jobberradio.com and just observed everything that we have to offer, 
hover over Prediction League, go over statistics, and look at this. We got the entire achievement list here. Every achievement that right now, at this point in time, you can obtain is on that page right there. We're talking match of the night honors. Did we even talk about that? Let's load a match of the night honors. Let's show that right here. Look, Woody versus Bomber at TakeOver. Backlash with John versus Crimson Cyborg. Woody and CM Carlito got that at Extreme Rules. Who in the world is going to get it at Money in the Bank? Then we have the Ring of Honor show. Then we have the Impact show. We got a lot of stuff going on. Who's going to get those achievements for Match of the Night Honors? Then, uh, let's see. So let's hover over statistics. We got the leaderboard and match specialty history. We're talking every single specialty match. We keep track of it all. Hardcore matches. These are the three hardcore matches that happened at Extreme Rules. Peanut got the win over. Peanut is my bitch. Ash got a win over Rab. And me and Woody got the win over Crimson Cyborg and C uh, 3J Platinum. So then we go down. What was the Ultimate X match? There was the Warden got the win over Broken Nerd, Tom, and Cam Popplestone. And guess what? That's all we got right now, guys. But we have a lot more. We are just getting started. I hope, I don't know if you stuck around. This video has turned out way longer than I thought. But I'm going to try to do these as much as I can. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys show up. Who is going to win the first ever championship? We have the big number one contenders matches coming up at Money in the Bank. And we have the Money in the Bank ladder match. Guys, that's it. We're out of here. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you guys on the next video. See ya.